Okay, I just finished the process of doing the untethered jailbreak from my iPhone 4. So now, I'm going to show you what the jailbreak did or did not do to my iPhone 4. So first of all, there's the date and time. Let's unlock this. Let's go to settings. And as you can see, the Bluetooth is unavailable. But that's already expected with this jailbreak. It's okay with me because I don't use it anyway. I would rather have the jailbreak than this feature that I don't even use. Next, I want to show you that I'm on 4.2.1 firmware. Next, here's Cydia. Let's try and load this up. Let's wait and let Cydia load up completely. And there we go. Now, let me quickly do the complete upgrade. Let's hit confirm. And wait again because this won't take long. Alright, it's almost done. Now, we need to reboot the iPhone. So, if you're on a tethered jailbreak and you reboot your device, you will lose your jailbreak. And even though the CJ app still remains after the reboot, it's still useless because it will not load at all. You need to use Red Snow again in order to jailbreak your device again. But with the untethered jailbreak, like what my iPhone 4 has right now, you get to keep your jailbreak after a reboot. I also did this exact process for my iPad and it also worked fine. But I have to remove the jailbreak so I can use my Zagmate because it needs Bluetooth connection in order for me to use the keyboard. By the way, I'm using the Casemate Pop case on my iPhone 4 right now. I really like this case. Okay, here we go. Let's see if CJ is still there. And here it is. Let's load this up so you can see that it works. And there we go. Sija works fine. Next, I put songs here to try out if the music plays. Let's go ahead and try it now. Let's lower down the volume. And forward the song. So yes, the music works fine with this jailbreak. Let's try the other song if you're still not convinced. And there we go. The iPad works fine. Let me stop this first and then we will try to play a video. Let's play this one and this movie is called Takers. So the video also works great. So that's it for my tutorial on how to jailbreak your device on 4.2.1 firmware. Have a nice day. Peace.